important to stay in tune with all of the ongoing changes in our industry. Anything that we can do, this is our second educational seminar for our business partners. We just want to make it clear to everybody that we are here to help educate not only just our team, but also you and your teams. We're all here to try to keep this going in this uh, ever-trying market, day-to-day, -day, constant program. We want to be like you, Donna Beaver. You want to be like you? Yeah, we want to be like you. But um, anyhow, this is our second one. I, uh, I don't know, I think some of you look familiar that may have attended the last one. But today we have John Hoskins with Fannie Mae. And don't shoot any arrows at him or dots. He's, gonna, he's here to help us and bring on some change, uh, information on the current changes that have just taken place. And I'm sure you know some of you probably are aware of them. If you're not, you're going to be aware of them today. And I encourage any questions. John, are you okay with open questions during? Sure. Okay, great, great. You know, sometimes you forget what you wanted to ask, and it's important that we direct the questions to the person that has all the answers today for us. So, welcome, John. Well, thank you. I'm just the person who actually is going to pretend to have all the answers uh, and do my best to keep a straight face while I give them to it. Is that fair enough? <laughs> uh, thank you all. Uh, again, uh, this is the second opportunity I had to, had to uh, speak uh, uh, to the group of Integris and uh, to now this time to their partner. So I think they liked me enough the first time that they felt I was safe enough to bring around their friends. So that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, I am John Hotchkiss. I've been with Fannie Mae for the past nine years of my life now. I've uh, been in the mortgage industry since I was 15. Um, actually, my dad owned his own broker shop in the northern suburbs of Chicago, so uh, I've been doing it for a long time. I think the only thing I've really ever done is mortgages. So uh, It's kind of neat right now in the current state of the market. Uh, my actual neighbors actually know what I do for a living. Usually I'm like, oh yeah, they made a candy company. My, uh, <laughs> uh, now they know exactly what I do uh, um, to a, dis a disgusting degree, so uh, we've been kind of in the news a lot lately. Uh, but anyway, um, enough about me, enough about my crazy neighbors. Uh, I really want to talk to you about two things today. Uh, one, I want to talk about getting people in homes, and that's going to be the first part of my presentation. Uh, that's when I'm going to talk about desktop underwriter, our newest changes that went into the system. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about keeping people in homes, uh, because we touch a lot of consumers, a lot of home buyers, a lot of people who, are, uh, who we help put into homes. I'm going to show you what Fannie Mae is doing to keep them in their homes. And uh, this is actually great information about our loss mitigation tools, that if you ever get uh, phone calls from any of the clients that you put into homes or any of the clients that you gave mortgages to, uh, you can kind of walk them through a process if they come upon hard times uh, to ensure that they can stay in those homes. So that's my agenda. That's what I'm talking about. Sounds good? Yes. All right. Uh, at any point in time during the presentation, feel free to ask me questions. Um, if I uh, don't know the answer to the question, which I find hard to believe, uh, but uh, I'll table it, I'll collect your business card at the end, I'll get you the answer that you need. Um, sound fair? Yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's rock and roll. Yeah, of course, it always has that delay. Uh, first screen, of course, is the legal disclaimer, uh, disclaimer, and I'll kind of move so you can see things. Uh, actually, there's no bad seat in the house. Uh, the information I'm all going to touch, I, I can't even follow a PowerPoint presentation to save my life. Uh, I just float around that way, so don't feel too caught up in uh, paying attention to the screen. All the important stuff will come out of here. Uh, legal disclaimer, uh, this basically the attorneys put this in there to say anything that I say uh, can't be used against me. Uh, please refer back to our selling guide, our servicing guide, all the information that we have published on eFannieMae.com, all the guidelines that might be in your lender contract. Uh, this is where I went to school. This is actually, uh, uh, went away. So I'll show you where my actual seats are. <coughs> I'm back. All right, I'd like to shoot all by memory. Okay, do we need some assistance down here with that? No, it looks like the power thing wasn't on. I just lost power. Okay, I think that's what I need. I'm not the technical person, so I'm going to ask Right. Right. All right, well, you might be talking loss mitigation tools first, but at least I have that on paper right there. I got 7 pounds sludge in my car. I don't know for you. computer's like that. Okay, the TV was on. What's that plugged into? Eight years. Actually, I have a lot compared to what I used to do. Yeah. I don't want to do something. Do 
Exactly. That's a voice message. We got somebody coming for the rest of you. All right. They will be back up. I think half your power uh, thing's dead over there. All right. Bear with me for a second. We're gonna. Reboot. Right. <laughs> All right, we're cooking. Uh, all right. So the things I'm going to talk about are our current market challenges, uh, the response that we put into a desktop underwriter. Who's aware of what a desktop underwriter is? I can start. I can start using the acronym DU. Uh, it's our automated underwriting engine at Fannie Mae. Um, all the changes we put into that, the benefits that are in there now, um, some of the eligibility updates that came out with our most recent release, and then a review of all the risk factors that go into a, a desktop underwriter decision. All right, so the market conditions. This is what happened. This is where we're at. Uh, home values have started to go down, uh, so you start seeing a tightening of underwriting standards. Uh, foreclosures were going up. Losses are going up, liquidity is going down, originators and wholesale lenders started disappearing. All these changes, some of the different responses to them have been uh, uh, less subprime and all day products, uh, lower maximum loan to values. We've seen different kinds of down payment uh, uh, announcements through the MI companies, through us. Uh, risk based pricing discipline has uh, been increased. You start seeing now uh, people are charging for the risk that they're taking on in the loans. Fannie Mae is charging for the risk that we're taking on in loans. That's where you'll see the LTV versus FICO score and how loans are currently being priced. Also, um, industry consolidation. We're starting to see a lot of the players that are out there in the industry either go away, uh, get bought up, um, uh, uh, mergers. Uh, we'll, we'll probably continue to see some of that trends as the economy starts picking back up. Uh, right now, uh, all the lenders are looking at capital. We're looking at capital. We're all trying to hold on to capital. So I don't really expect to see any major acquisitions uh, in, in the next uh, six to eight months. Uh, but after things maybe stabilize and uh, we start getting traction back in the system, I think they'll start seeing, again, some of the merger activity pick up. Um, all right. So version 7.0 of Desktop Underwriter. Uh, what we've done here is we, uh, we, we uh, changed our philosophy in DU. In DU, um, the bottom line is we used to look at how much money can we possibly lose on this transaction? What's our loss severity on this loan? Uh, so we base everything on, you know, uh, if, if this home goes belly up, if these farmers go belly up and take this property back, what's our exposure? Uh, we change that now. Uh, the philosophy now in DU 7.0 is uh, what's going to be best for that consumer? What type of consumer can stay in this home? What factors are in a profile of a consumer that does not go into foreclosure? And we have a lot of data that we can, uh, obviously a lot of data that we can go back and we can kind of look at trends that lead people down that road. So we really changed it from that tool that was looking at, okay, what's our severity if we do this, to a tool that's, all right, let's keep the people in their homes. And, and that's what we have right now. Uh, so let's see, see, I came and stick to one of these things. <coughs> um, yeah, we look at stuff, we look at data, eligibility requirements. All right, so this is what's changed. Um, again, the focus now being keeping people in homes. Uh, we changed our risk assessment. We've changed our factors that we're looking for in every transaction. Uh, we've updated our uh, eligibility, uh, eligibility for both expanded approval and the My Community Mortgage product. Um, and uh, what, what you're seeing now is, uh, we're already seeing, since it's already been uh, uh, in play now for a couple of months, an, an improved credit quality. Uh, and, and that's very important to us. The, the, the new book of loans that we're taking on uh, is, a, is a higher credit standard book than we were taking on uh, prior to this. Um, our approval rates that you're seeing with expanded approval and as well as approved eligible transactions, uh, uh, we're, we're seeing an increase in those. Uh, and we're also seeing a, a decrease of the loans that we really didn't want. And, and let me kind of explain that. Uh, we're seeing a kind of a shift, as I talked about, we're paying, uh, consumers are now paying for their, uh, for, for the risk factors involved in their transaction. So we're now seeing that shift of loans that may have once have been like a, a, an approved eligible. Maybe those are going to an EA1. Uh, some of those EA2s and EA3s are no longer getting approved at all. Uh, so you're kind of seeing a shift.